but no jumpy jumpy. <laughs> Hello everyone, today I'm in Karosugil, which is this small street in Kinsa, and we're gonna go check out a couple of places today. Last time I came to Karosugil was in 2011 when I visited Korea, and it's changed a lot. There are a lot more name brand stores, and it seems like it's a lot more commercialized. Before, there were a lot of little independent coffee shops and clothing stores, but now it seems to have been taken over by brands like Hollister and Line Friends, and of course all of the beauty brands have stores here in case you need to pick up a sheet mask or some kind of beauty product because those are so hard to come by here in Korea. But anyway, I still think this is a fun neighborhood to explore even though it's a little more commercialized than it was when I previously visited. There are still some cute clothing stores and spots to take photos. And something that I think Korea does really well is create cute spots for you to take photos. And Valentina and I happened upon this one spot. I thought it was great not just to take photos, but it was great to just let her get down and walk around and play because I don't like to let her walk on the street. So it's always nice to find a little spot like this where we can take a break. This reminds me a little bit of Soho in New York because the main street is really commercialized with a lot of big name brand makeup stores. But then if you walk along the back alley, you'll see a lot more independent shops and independent restaurants. So I definitely recommend coming to the back street. If you're like me and you have kids, you'll probably want to look up in advance where you want to eat so you don't have to wander around aimlessly while your kids get fussy. So I did a little bit of research before coming here and I decided to eat at this place called Bad Farmers. They're supposed to have good salads and I know like who goes to a restaurant to eat salads? But I'm one of those people, so I love, I mean I like salad. So I'm avocado. just gonna, and Valentina's gonna have avocado. So I think, I looked at the menu in advance, I think I'm gonna get the salmon and avocado bowl. But we're just gonna go inside and check it out. Healthy food bowl. So having lived in the U.S. and Japan, one of the staple foods for my family was avocados. And the thing about avocados is that they're really expensive in Korea. They're about three U.S. dollars and I just can't bring myself to pay that much when you don't know if you're going to have a big seed or if it'll be a little brown in the middle. So I was really excited to see avocados at this restaurant and I had to order this salad. I think that Valentina really missed having avocado too because she ate most of my avocado, but that's okay. We don't get a lot of these fresh salads in Seoul. Mm. So on the way, I was really tempted to eat at Lobster Shack because I love lobster rolls, but I'm definitely going to have to come back here when I'm in the mood for something a little bit more unhealthy. But even though I'm from California, I've never actually been to Mr. Holmes Bakehouse, so this was a new experience for me. Okay, when we go in, you can come down, okay? Go. Uh, yeah. And then, what is this? Um, 
Is it? Brioche bun. Oh, okay. Can I get one for here? Uh, Earl Grey for here? Yeah. And then um, uh, ice Americano? Yeah. Huh? Uh oh. No jumpy jumpy. They're famous for their cruffin, but I just got one to go. Okay, DC. And I'm just trying this Earl Grey. Um, don't touch the knife. I'm trying this. Mama, what, Mama. what do you say? What do you say? Yeah. Okay. The Earl Grey brioche bread. I saw this Earl Grey truffle on Reddit, and it looks so good. And I'm just <sighs> so the Earl Grey truffle. So it's just brioche bread covered in powdered sugar and then I think these are just Earl Grey tea flakes on top. It's actually quite simple. I think you could probably just make this at home. I love this little area with all the pins and gifts. I really wanted this bag. If it said I got baked in Seoul, I would have totally bought it. So Valentina was in a really good mood when we were here and she was just kind of being loud and happy. And she wasn't crying or anything, but somebody next to us asked me to like keep it down. And I was just like thinking, you know what, my kid's happy. She's not misbehaving and this isn't a library, so. I just kind of let her be. I think they are just being grumpy old people. Ooh, so it's like pudding. It's like, what is it? Okay, I brought this cruffin home for my husband and he didn't like it, so I get to try it. It's, it's a, like a croissant covered with sugar and pudding. It has pudding Mommy, in the middle. Mommy, you want to try some? Okay. So we're going to try it, okay? Here. Okay, try it. What is it? How is it? Yeah, you can have that. Try it. Tell me what you think. <laughs> is it good? It's good? I need to get a knife so I could cut the rest of this. The pudding has a slight butterscotch flavor and <laughs> the outside is just basically like a croissant covered with sugar. Here, you want one? Wow, my girls are going to eat all of it. Wow, that goes really fast when you're sharing it among three people, four people. What's it taste like? Chocolate. Chocolate? And what chocolate. else? Orange. Orange? You tasted orange? Mm-hmm. It's chocolate. Wow, I didn't taste that at all. Oh, my God. What's on the outside? Sugar, sugar and bread. bread. And what's on the inside? Um, chocolate and orange and strawberry. Orange and strawberry? Are you sure? Or are you just making that up? I'm just making it up. <laughs>